What is going on everyone? I'm the Luau back again. A brand new Luau Talk kinda unboxing. Kinda. We're gonna open some sodas and some very cool sodas. Um, the Sanderson Sisters. Hocus Pocus. Funko Shop exclusive sodas. 25,000 piece. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the Luau. Thank you for coming to join me on this video. I hope it brings a little bit of enjoyment of your day. Hopefully, you like watching. If you do, hit that like button, subscribe, ding the bell, and comment down below. I read them all. I respond to every single comment. Very cool. Hop in that one, our brand new weekly giveaway. Six prizes, two winners every Sunday night on that. That's right. The Luau Show come live uh, with us every Sunday night for special guests, unboxings, chit-chat, collectible talk, etc. like that. So this is a kind of a Luau talk video, but not quite. Um, Hocus Pocus, guys. I mean, Hocus Pocus was a great movie that came out. Uh, it was done by Disney. Came out in, I want to say it was the early 90s. I'm pretty sure that's when it came out. And, and featured great people. I mean, uh, Sarah Jessica Parker, Bette Midler, um, and uh, I think it's Najimi Nancy, I can't remember her first name, but she was in Sister Act, and you know, so she had that kind of fame going on for her. And this was a really cool movie. It also has a very young, um, uh, what's his name from NCIS in it, if you didn't know that. And it was just a really cool, nice movie, and has begin, begun quite the cult following in the years up to that. Now, this past year, they made a follow up, not to, not to uh, the movie theaters, but it came right to Disney kind of showed how the Sanderson sisters became the Sanderson sisters. I thought it was cool. Was it as memorable as the first one? No, but it was nice they came back. You know what I mean? Um, and obviously there's been stuff with Hocus Pocus, Funko Pop, Spirit Halloween has done a lot with them over the past couple years, etc. Well, here comes Funko Sodas. And these released um, the week before Halloween. And I'm, I'm sure you're going to try to capitalize on Halloween everything like that. And, all right, so first off, I'm gonna, I'll show you a glimpse of the chases right there. I don't want the chases. I have no desire for the chases. I don't like them. They don't do anything for me. You know, they're kind of like the translucent-y blah, you know, it is what it is. But they are well done, especially Mary Sanderson. I mean, that soda, when, you know, she's got her face like that. Najimi really kills that part, and I love the soda. I love how well they're done, you know. I mean, here you have Winifred with the teeth, obviously, um, holding the broom and a little uh, beaker. And there you have Sarah, um, who, of course, Sarah Jessica Parker, who even has the little mole on her chin. I think that's awesome. And I think it's these are great sodas, design-wise. Fabulous sodas. But let's be realistic. 25,000 piece. It's not good for many reasons. Number one, Hocus Pocus is not a genre where you really could warrant 25,000 pieces. Number two, I don't think there's any soda, a Star Wars or Marvel that warrants 25,000 pieces. <clears throat> and three, why is it not a good thing? It's not a good thing because if you ever want value for these things, these things are not going to sell it on the Funko shop and they're exclusive. So, I mean, those are just uh, complete wham bammies. Just, I don't know. I don't understand it. Not good to me. You know what I mean? Not good for the collecting market because these are going to be Let's be realistic. Agree with me, don't agree with me. You've seen Lou out talks before where I talk about um, values of Funko sodas, especially commons. These things, number one, are not going to sell out anytime soon. Uh, number two, it takes the value of these as a common to almost zilch. And the chases, which I don't think are really great chases, are going to really... I don't think they're going to be valuable either. You know what I mean? In my opinion. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong and you think I'm wrong, message this down below. But I think they're awesome sodas. We're going to open them up. Um, let's do Sarah first. We're opening them up, show them. Again, I want the whole collection, but I don't want the chases. You know, I am not a super soda person. You guys know my feeling on sodas. I think they're a lot of fun. I collect certain ones. I tend to go for certain characters or chases. Like these, I wanted these for my personal collection, but the commons. Um, I very rarely will play soda chase roulette, and I don't do it for one for uh, many reasons. The big reason being a common soda. You have trouble selling a common soda, which normally you're paying 15 bucks for, five dollars. No joke. 
I mean, I've seen people and whatnot can't sell Funko Common Sodas for $5. Insane. So the first one we have, Sarah. Uh, this is one out of 20,900. Absolutely insane number, but there it is. There's the Pog. But overall, guys, I'm going to be quite honest with you. That is a tremendously well-done soda. Um, the intricacy of uh, her belt, the broom, the dress, everything, the mold. I mean, that is, without a doubt, freeze it and zoom it, an incredibly well-made soda. Well done. Great figure. And that's why I wanted to have them. You know, the hair... It looks like they're putting sodas together in different pieces now, you know what I mean? Not just like one, they're, they're, they're doing a lot more with it. So I like that. Uh, Funko shop sticker on the, the can, very cool. So we're one of one of what we want, all right? And you may disagree with me when I talk about the value of these Funko sodas that, you know, well, they're 15 retail. Listen, you're, you're right. Certain chases, whether it be, and when it's first come out, and maybe we'll talk about that in a second of when you buy sodas. Um, all right, we're two for two. There's Winifred Sanderson, one out of 20,900. I just don't know the rationale that Funko had to make this a 20,000 piece run. These would have been much better and much more collectible to the collector if these were in the 10,000, maybe even 12. 12 would have been all right. But again, the hair, the teeth, the rosiness of the cheeks, the color over the eyes, the hair, the broom, the beaker. Again, it is so well done of a soda. Freeze. Anyway, um, I, I think they're great sodas. I really, really do. All right, last one and probably my favorite soda Mary Sanderson. Uh, I actually have her autographed uh, pop that's here from Dark Parlor Originals. Shouts out to Dark Parlor Originals. All right. All right, so we're good to go because this is the common Mary Sanderson, one out of 20,900. <laughs> insane numbers, insane numbers. But now, like I said, I think these would have been better suited at 7,500 to 12,000 piece counts just my opinion because don't forget these are going to release overseas and that's also probably going to be some outrageous number maybe you know it just is what it is but this very very well done from the hair to the mouth to the coloration and everything another insanely well soda and like i'm saying guys i'm not shitting on the sodas uh i'm shitting on funko doing making the decisions that they did for the piece count of these for what I thought was, I kind of get the chases, but I don't like them. You know, I get that they sort of did some puffing, that kind of stuff, and that's what it symbolizes. It just doesn't work for me, I don't care for it. Now, people will say sodas, what do I collect? I tend to go for chase sodas, uh, or commons, depending on what I'm looking for. Uh, very rarely will I ever buy a case and do that. Um, I tend to look to buy them. Now, when I buy them, guys, when they first come out, they're an insane price. I mean, you look at Homer Simpson, when he first came out, the Chase Homer Simpsons, anywhere between 70, 80, 90 bucks, right? If you wait two months, you play the long game, 30 to 60 days from when that soda comes out, you can get Chases for sometimes low. I mean, sometimes 30 bucks, sometimes $25, sometimes 50 bucks, depending on what character it is. Um, I'm a big Wreck-It Ralph fan. You know, I was able to find a Wreck-It Ralph for 40 bucks Chase. I was able to find um, Penelope Van Sweet for 30 bucks chase you know you just never know but don't hit it right away wait play the long game on the chases because the chase it's just like comic con and things like that the price will come down on the chases these chases i personally don't think they're going to do very well i think the commons you're going to find hard pressed to with so many out there i don't think they're going to sell out anytime soon and i i think that destroys the collectability um and the value of uh, these sodas and it's a shame because it's a great genre it, they're great characters it's tremendously well done sodas it's just not a 25,000 piece count soda it just isn't so. anyway this was a little unboxing a little soda talk a little of my opinions maybe you differ if you differ hey message down below let me know I'm curious I like the feedback 
Until next time, guys, I'm the Luau. I will say these are nowhere near as bad as the Luchas. Just saying. Until next time, guys, I'm the Luau. Peace out. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to watch a Luau video today. Hey! That's right, guys. It's the holiday season, and uh, again, I hope you enjoyed the video that you just watched. It means a lot to me. And if you didn't already, do something for me that's absolutely free and help support this channel. Give it a thumbs up. It goes a long way. Helps the algorithm, all that good stuff. I appreciate it. Also, hop in that one. Weekly giveaway. Six prizes, two winners every single Sunday night on that. That's right, the Luau Show. Please come join us for special guest unboxings, and we pick those weekly winners. But if you didn't see that banner fly, go to the beginning of the video. That's where it is. Check that out. Also, check out all of our affiliates and links and discount codes. They're all down below. I'm talking mystery boxes and, well, not mystery boxes, but pre-orders and Funko Pops from places like Templar Pops, Ralphie's Fun House, uh, and the list goes on and on and on. Check those out. They're all discount codes right down below. Uh, Entertainment Earth, if you want to do pre-orders, you could do that. All the way up to cookies, guys. It's the holiday season, right? Bang cookies, baby. Some of the best cookies you'll ever, you'll ever taste. Organic, everything. It comes shipped right to you. Check out 20% off your first order at Bang Cookies. Also, their brownies are spectacular. Just saying. I don't get anything, guys. I get no money or any kind of kickbacks or anything for that. Just go support them because it's a great product and I love it. Um, yeah, I mean... Again, affiliate links, discount codes. We have Teespring for the t-shirts, all that good stuff. If you want to help support the channel, get something from me every single month. That's right, because Patreon sometimes get cool things like the Luau pin. And maybe this December there'll be a new pin. A surprise pin. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, you can do that. Check Patreon. We have tons of links, candy boxes, everything like that. I mean, literally, you could choose and get a box of full candy. It's a great thing. Help support the channel. Help support the channel and uh, the giveaways that we do and we bring you. I truly do appreciate everyone that is a channel member and a Patreon. Thank you so, so much. And uh, with that, enjoy this time of the year. It is my favorite time of the year. Be well. Be safe. Enjoy it with families. If you can give back, please give back. Uh, it's a great way to do it for Toys for Tots. So go support your uh, and help out at your local food bank. Um, all things that go a long way. And if you can, please do. And until next time, guys, I'm the Luau saying thank you for joining me on this video. Be well, be safe. In the words of Robin Williams, Nanu Nanu. Ho, ho, ho. We out.